community that I acknowledge is, you know, has been rocked by uh, by me uh, making this choice. Serving as a priest in the way that I was was to was to say that what I had felt and known and understood was a lie, and I could not do it. And on church history. Uh, and the fact that so much uh, that is in the Bible, in the, you know, which as we know has been shaped by by theologians and the fathers of the church uh, after many years uh, and, and indeed centuries after Christ was uh, on this earth, um, that there was, you know, a mass of accretions, doctrinal, uh, you know, additions, which got reflected in the uh, Constantinopolitan creed and then the subsequent creeds, uh, you know, this, um, uh, uh, as espoused through the councils of the church. So I, I, I came to kind of the conclusion that there was challenge in the doctrine of the Trinity, which was not referenced in the way the church teaches it, in the way most Christians, Catholics, Protestants, Orthodox conceive of the Trinity. And uh, that was, you know, problematic. But this time I, I went back to my hotel and, you know, I prostrated and asked God, you know, show me the absolute truth. Show me whether Islam is true or false, wow. whether Christianity is right or wrong, whether Orthodox Christianity is right or wrong. And I prayed for some time on my knees, prostrate. Uh, Orthodox Christians actually prostrate in a in a way very similar to to, to uh, Islamic sujood, uh, especially in penitential seasons. Anyway, I was used to prostration. I prostrated and prayed, and then I sat up and I read Quran, and I I realized, you know, uh, intuitively, uh, intellectually, emotionally, spiritually, that this was the the actual word of God that I had not paid heed to, not paid respect to. And I read it with completely different eyes. And I just knew, I, I, I instantly knew that this was the absolute truth and that I could no longer ignore it. Uh, so, you know, I, I went uh, I, I went and talked further with the imam and, and, uh, and stood probably awkwardly and, and, and through uh, Maghrib prayers at the back of the of the masjid. And then I had to fly back to Tasmania and I flew back and um, reflected. And it, uh, I could not continue on as before. Um, so I prayed and I read Quran and, you know, uh, the only way I could go back to what I was serving as a priest in the way that I was, was to, was to say that what I had felt and known and understood was a lie and I could not do it. So I wrote to my bishop, uh, you know, a letter that was easy to write on one level, of course, difficult to write a letter that is severing ties of a, of, of a lifetime and pulling out from a community that I had committed to serve. And I declared, um, Shahada in that letter to the bishop. Oh, there is no sorry. God but Allah. And that Muhammad, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is his last messenger. And that this is the final message. And that I had no choice, no choice but to obey it. Uh, I could not ignore Quran, could not ignore the truth that God is not three, God is one, that God has no, no son. Uh, and that his final message was the message that all of us, all Christians, everyone needs to heed, that I needed to pray as Jesus prayed, to pray as the prophets that were honoured, you know, uh, were prayed. Uh, and, you know, I've been at peace with this decision.